What's up? What's going on? The man of the hour. <laughs> Shane, What's going on? Shane Swag Yolo based Sims. That's a long <laughs> name, nigga. <laughs> What's going on, guys? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? We 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 pretty good. I was just cooling out eating watermelon for a minute. Are you really eating watermelon? I was really eating watermelon, no joke. I I believe that though. <laughs> no, no, no joke, nigga. I'm on this like I'm on this I'm on this new diet, and uh, I, I got I eat a lot of fruit and stuff. Uh huh. Yeah, because I hate I hate I hate vegetables. So I eat a lot. Of do, do you really hate vegetables? Like you really hate vegetables? Like man, it's like it's like maybe four vegetables that I like. <laughs> And like it, uh. name the four vegetables. Name the four vegetables. See, I, I can't even think of them right now. It's like, oh, oh, okay. I like string beans. Those are all right. Oh, and that, there's like the only thing that's coming out like off the top of my head. Like, like string. potatoes. Potatoes. You like potatoes? Potatoes are vegetable. Yeah. Okay. Well, I like potatoes. <laughs> Regular potatoes and, and, and sweet potatoes too. So. Oh, there you go. No, there you go. That, and I, I, I've Hold gotten on. it. This, I, I, Hold on. man, don't do not say that word around. <laughs> Broccoli is the shit. Broccoli is the shit. Broccoli yeah. is the shit. Broccoli is the most nigga. I smoke crack. Wow. I, I, wow. I, I, I smoke an ounce of crack before I eat five pounds of broccoli. Really? Uh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> no, but the thing is, like, broccoli, like, when you use, like, Chinese food, be using broccoli? Yo, we actually yeah, I, 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 I get mine with no broccoli, sir. Yeah, oh, man. Damn, if, Jake. If, if it's, like, no... Like, I don't care how, it, like, what was it? put cheese on it, put cheese on it, you want to taste it with the cheese, put, put the cheese on it. And then, like, I do it, and, like, it's like, oh, my gosh, this tastes like broccoli and fruits cheese. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it is, it is absolutely detestable. Damn. Yeah. Damn, man. Like, my mom, she made some, uh, like some kind of casserole one time. And she made macaroni casserole, nigga. Macaroni and cheese casserole. And she topped up some itty bitty down there microscopic bits of broccoli in it. <laughs> you and lost your damn mind. I was like, yo, I was like, 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 I was like, mama, like, I ain't trying to hate or nothing, but like, yo, yo, this is, this straight up nasty. Like, <laughs> it's straight up nasty. Like, What's in it? She was like, she was like, oh, so I guess you you tasted the broccoli. I was like, yup, uh, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to bed with no supper. I'm, I'm, I'm putting myself on punishment, nigga. Damn, <laughs> damn, you did, you detect, you detected Microsoft, you detected microscopic. Oh broccoli. gosh, she's drunk. Yeah. This that Microsoft. Wow. <laughs> shame, shame is Microsoft. Good. I, I did this. Did. Shane's tips. How many beers did you have, Shane? I'm, I'm, I'm only drinking one right now. I don't know. Uh, and this, and what the uh, fuck? It's, and it's over with. I am a very, like, I cannot drink that one. Turn the light off. I'm a very. Oh, oh, no, in here, in my room. Turn the light off. Thank you. Close the door. All right. Thank you. Good child. All right. Now, where were we? I don't know. I, I, Microsoft broccoli. Yeah, Microsoft broccoli. Yeah, this. <coughs> if you if you don't want me to eat anything, put broccoli in. Like like cauliflower. Cauliflower is all right. Really? really? I fucking hate cauliflower. But I love broccoli. <laughs> Ca- cauliflower is all right. Cabbage is all right. Oh. Uh, Cabbage is good. Cabbage is good. Uh, cabbage is alright. Um, you know, even yeah. sometimes just a little bit, maybe Brussels sprouts. Right. See, I never had a Brussels sprout ever in my life. It's, it's, you never it's had like, a like it's like tiny cabbage. Yeah, I never. <laughs> it's like tiny cabbage. 
like corn, broccoli. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I like corn too. So I will yeah. fuck some corn up. <laughs> I am like a, a corn on a man. <laughs> and as long as you ain't gay. Like, oh my gosh, this is the most tripped out moment I had at work one night. <laughs> I was on break and uh-huh. like that, and I know this guy gay. Everybody knows this dude gay because he's. Like, he be trying to dress up like a girl and stuff, and you know. Uh-huh. And then you have, like, sometimes you have weed and shit in his head. And this nigga, he ordered corn on the car. Uh-huh. And they was sitting right up, right in the booth across from me eating. And this nigga said, mmm, this is some good corn. And I had to run out of the store before I started laughing in the store. <laughs> Oh, I had to run out of Mm, this one said okay. Um, that's a good call, man. Eh? And like, I was like, oh my god! I was like, of course you'd like corn on the cob. <laughs> They're like, I'm, I'm gonna keep this cob and take it home. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> nah, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. <laughs> I, I would have died if he did. I would have been. Nigga, I would have. I would have shot myself if he said that. <laughs> I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take the rest of this car home too. <laughs> oh wow! Shut up! <laughs> it's, 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 it's the simple shit in life that makes you laugh, man. It's the simple things in life. Right. But, it, but anyway, it, it seems that I've been unbeknownst to me recording for the past. I don't know how long. <laughs> oh, damn. We didn't even do an intro, did we? No, we didn't. But for those inquir- inquiring minds, um, yes, this is the League of Extraordinary Assholes segment. Um, G, joined here by Chadwick, yeah. and co-host from the hit podcast, Villains Never Sleep. Mr. Shane Sims. Hi. What's going on? Yeah, if, if y'all if y'all can tell that that was his voice, then you know. That was, that was my voice. <laughs> that, that was his voice. <laughs> so, What's going on? Yeah. Uh, uh, if you listen to the last two, you know that we're not organized at all. So, and we don't have any questions prepared. We just kind of, <laughs> just, we just kind of fish with people. We're just bullshit, yeah. Yeah, we just, we, we just kind of fish with people. Mm-hmm. And I and and uh, before before we start Shane's actual interview, I must say Corey did a great freaking job on his. <laughs> For him to be the first I, I, one, he had like the best one so. I listened to it. It was really good. It was it was pretty good. Bravo, guys. Yeah. So you know. That, that, that's what the power of improv gets you, you know. Yeah, that's right. That's nigga, right, nigga. Nigga, you like young Larry David, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I I love League of Extraordinary Assholes. Like, I I find myself like um, going to fucking Podomatic and just <laughs> listening to episodes of you guys, and I just fucking crack up. Oh, it's, it's, it's a funny ass podcast. Thank you. That that means a lot come from from a guy who who himself is you know on a fun ass podcast. You you yeah. guys y'all like I don't I don't know what the hell to think about y'all, but you guys are fucking awesome. Like man, that, that that the last episode had me tears of uh, uh, the four horsemen, uh, yeah. uh, uh, friends on. I was cracking up the entire time. I was like, holy oh, shit. <laughs> And man, like, then I had so much fun just joining y'all. Like, slide out after I was joining y'all. After I was like, just Jose and Jay cracking the fuck up with them. Uh-huh. And I like, I like, then we got the battle of base right. Yeah, that man. I I still listen to that shit to this day, man. I like to think of like League of Extraordinary Assholes, like the Brother Podcast to Heroes Never to uh, Villains Never Sleep, like. I just think y'all guys are like what we are when we, if we don't give a fuck. Like, y'all don't give a fuck. <laughs> we, we, we really don't. We really don't. Like, oh my gosh. Like, it, like every time before we start recording, well, before we actually start the show, mm-hmm. like, 
I opened up, I, I opened up Microsoft Notepad. <laughs> like, so, what are we gonna talk about this week? Yeah. Man, Chad would be like, yo, you seen that lap dance trailer? <laughs> like, I was like, I was like, yo, titties, okay? And we'll start, we'll start, we'll start talking about titties and ass for about 20 minutes. Before the show, you really will? Before yeah, the show, before, we, before we even start recording, we're just talking about the shit. We, we talk about ass and titties for like 20 minutes. <laughs> then we realize, <laughs> oh my god. Then we realize, holy shit, it's 11 o'clock. Like, like, villains never sleep. Villains never sleep is really fucking like organized so, like, what are we talking about and yeah. we'll go into what we talk about beforehand and then we're going to talk about this 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 then we're going to do truth from a bullshit and it's really like the like, guard just like just whatever the fuck y'all want to talk <laughs> yeah, about but, i love i love that dude like then like we'll let's see we'll talk some more shit for about another hour <laughs> literally a whole another hour it's like an hour 30 minutes before we actually record the episode yeah. <laughs> they were like, oh <laughs> shit, it's, it's one in the morning. Alright, G, how many topics you got? Fuck, I just wrote titties down. And, and, <laughs> and Microsoft Notepad. <laughs> we're talking about titties. And we're yeah, like, we're, titties. we're like, and I'm, in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh my god, we only have one half ass topic. We're gonna yes. record a 30 minute show, and the show gone for two hours. That's amazing. That's amazing, right? It doesn't even, and it doesn't even feel like it's like two hours, no, does it? it? And, and, I, and I got to like, I'm like, holy shit, like, hold on, guys. You, oh, shit. Let's close this out. I got, <laughs> I got, I got to throw in the racist joke. Jern had it last time. Jern did the racist joke. Yeah. Jern did the racist funny. joke. That shit was funny. That shit was mad funny. Shout yeah. out to that nigga Jern, man. We had the damn, uh, Argument about Perfect Dog versus Double uh, O Seven, man. Yep. Uh, y'all, y'all put that on villains ever sleep. I was like, okay. Yep. I put that on villains ever sleep. Because I wanted everybody uh, thinking on that, and I, I knew it was gonna be overwhelmingly uh, more Double O Seven than Perfect Dog. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. But, of course. Uh, that, he didn't want to. He didn't want to accept it. I tried to tell him. Yep. Prop on that nigga never did concede. Yeah, he did. <laughs> that nigga just see the feet. He in the end, in the end, they end up a grand. What what did I say? Say okay, perfect dark was newer <laughs> and it had more shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's what said. And his mind, that's what said the part. Even though Double O Seven was like was still a great game, so I was like, oh man, man, it. Oh man, but um, in case anyone is wondering. Uh, without Shane, there would be no, there would be no uh, leader extraordinary assholes podcast. Right, I, I like to feel a little bit responsible. I wasn't, but yeah, see, there you go, cutting out. Yeah, cut I'm, out. I'm, I'm, cut, I'm cutting out. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't responsible, but I told them niggas. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Big groundbreaking message. I'm cutting out again. Shit. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Fucking shit. Fucking shit. <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> I need a new webcam. God damn it. Oh, my gosh. Well, I, I was saying, it, it, this is what I saw from my point of view. Um, well, I used to get together. Oh, uh, we just game all us. We just game together. We just get on the like Street Fighter or Marvel yeah. and game together. Mm-hmm. And we have Shane cracking the fuck up because like all of my oh man, so many jokes. Me talking about Brian. Oh man, and how black this nigga is. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't give a fuck either. I'm like, wow. And it's like right, and it's friends. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's a, that's a pretty that we're like 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 he's like a brother to me, man. Mm-hmm. Like he's like a brother to me, man. And like then like Quincy will come in and his take for block him. And I and I make him hate block him. Like <laughs> I like I'd be winning the matches, then I say some shit. And 
Oh, damn. I remember one day I had posted a, uh, I had shared a picture. It was like Magneto and, um, Magneto and Professor X talking. They were like texting each other. He was like, Emma Jean Rogue, marry one, fuck one, kill one, go. <laughs> and I was like, this would be our conversation. Like, this, like, these sound a lot like our text conversation. She was like, Shane just come out of nowhere. Oh my god, swag. Oh my god. You, 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 you niggas need a, you niggas need a podcast. You niggas, oh my, you niggas need a podcast. You, I would tune into this shit like, mm-hmm. every night. He <laughs> said, so, I was like, and we started it on the whim. I was like, okay, they on Podomatic. Let me sign up for Podomatic real quick. I was like, what you use to record? MP3 Sky Record. Okay, let me download it. Alright. Y'all niggas got Skype? Yeah, we got Skype. I can't remember my password. Okay, whatever the fuck. Else? Just make sure you log in Skype. We get on Skype. Next thing I know, hey, everybody, wake up the heroes every time. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, it, like, you know, like, everything we've done has been on a whim. Even the name changed. Heroes right. never even starting there. Like, that happened, like, mid episode, like, four, four or five or something like that. Mm-hmm. I must say, like, you guys got better with Ch- and Shaw. Y'all got really good. I was yeah, like, yeah. wow. Like, I was y'all so take surprised, man. Really good. Shout out to that Game of Thrones podcast I produced. That was yeah. re- That must have put y'all, like, y'all got really good off that, like, at and Shaw, yeah. which yeah. you need that female perspective, and you got Chad, who just don't give a fuck. <laughs> Chad don't give a fuck. I love it. Three, three, three not giving a fuck niggas, and a, not giving a fuck woman. I love it. That's amazing. Yeah. So, I guess, I guess we need to get into questions or some shit. I uh, guess. Oh, fuck. If, there, if there's any oh, questions. I'm sure. Like, I was... It's just, an interview. We have to have a question. Yeah, just tell <laughs> people back to self, where are you from... How you, how you are, what is like, shit, whatever. Yeah, well, what's the sign and shit, like, long walks on the beach, all this shit, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, I'm 23. I live in Columbus, Ohio. There's cows. There's a lot of cows in Columbus, Ohio. There's an extremely amount of cows. <laughs> <laughs> There's cows. There's cows and deer. Cows yeah. and deer what? It sounds like you live in Mississippi. Right. Like, <laughs> like you're, there's deer in highways. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, here too. Like, nigga, they be camping out on the side of the highways waiting to fuck somebody. Yeah. That, like, that looks like a goddamn 2013 Mitsubishi Galant. Let me fuck that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I've, never, I've never seen a deer walk across the street ever in my life, man. I've never... Really? I ain't seen one. I, I seen the motherfucker jump across it. And my friend, it, it looks so fucking majestic and, oh, and beautiful, man. It was like, it was like, it was like, oh, like it was doing ballet. Oh, wow. I was like, man, I hope, like, this deer gotta be drunk or something. You know what? There's a lot of, there's a lot of raccoons. Oh, there's a lot of raccoons. Yo, this raccoon stared at me in the face. Eat my garbage. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, they, like, they really do be eating people's garbage and shit like that? Yeah, you know? yeah! Like, this nigga was eating a KFC bone. Like, I knew it. That's a real cool, man. That's a real cool. That's a real cool. He was like, what's up? I was like, what's up? And then I just walked back inside. I was like, I saw this fucking raccoon looking at me. Oh my gosh! And we, we like one had a raccoon problems. This much, nigga. We got a uh, we got fucking possums. Possum, the them big ass fucking rat things, man. With, yeah, with that weird ass tail. With that weird ass tail. You know? And they yeah. like like if you kick them or something, they'll play dead. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is playing play possum. Yeah, playing fucking possum. Those possums actually fucking play possum. Yeah. Oh, but like, like I, I mean, I, I live in like a, a sort of country town, but it's not like a lot of animals and shit like that that's just roaming around for some reason. What's, I don't know. What's one of the animals you've seen just like, oh, that, yeah. You see like a horse? Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, matter of fact, 
Yeah, like it's like a whole bunch of horses like down the street for me. Like it's like it's like I want to say I guess it's like maybe a farm because it's like I see like cows <laughs> and I see horses and, and like random dogs and shit that be running around. But like I never seen like a rare animal like a, a raccoon just like running around. I never seen one of those like up close in person. Like I may see a. I might see a squirrel or something running around, but oh, like, never mind. Yeah, squirrel, squirrels like everywhere. Like, but never mind. Oh, like a raccoon. Like, and I know once I seen the armadillo walking across the street. Oh. It's like wild armadillos. Eat, do, do people eat armadillos? Can you yeah, eat an armadillo? It's like, yeah. a, uh, it's like yeah. a delicacy here in Texas that people yeah, eat. Yeah, yeah. In Mississippi too, nigga. Like they, oh uh, shit. That nigga, we asking the questions. What the fuck? But well, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, they they eat, they eat possums. Wow. Yeah. Um, I, uh, rat, I, rat, couldn't, rat I couldn't. I couldn't eat no. Snakes, I couldn't eat no fucking possum. Dillos, rabbits, and squirrels, nigga. They eat. I couldn't eat no fucking possum, man. That's too much like a rat, man. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't eat no raccoon. They, like, like, like gators and alligators and shit. Yeah, they eat that shit too. Bear. Yeah. Where, where do you fuck? Where the fuck do you get bear meat at? <laughs> like, hey, 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 we got, they work in bears out here. Something like this. I don't know. But, but a lot of people I said they're like it's sweet. I'm like really? I was like yeah, that's where their phrase came from. Sweetest bear meat. I was like, before you know. <laughs> oh, I just thought a drunk southern guy just was rhyming sweetest bear meat. I'm like okay. <laughs> This is Southern environment. I didn't know it bear was fucking sweet. <laughs> I I mean, deer, 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 I like sloppy joes and tater tots. That's all the fuck I used to eat. <laughs> <laughs> you got ketchup and ground beef. When we make We're it. Ground beef. <laughs> ground beef. Ground beef and ketchup. <laughs> ground beef and ketchup. Sloppy deer. Call it sloppy Call it sloppy deer. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Damn. So, um. Besides making people laugh and shit with your mm-hmm. awkward ass disposition, uh, right. Right. Uh, do you have any more uh, talents that people should know about? You know, um, I like to say that I like to draw whenever I get a chance to. Whenever I don't even draw that much anymore, but when I do, I I just I I love drawing. Mm-hmm. I've been drawn since I was fucking four. Right. I, I, remember, I remember the story, like, of how I started drawing. Like, my Uncle Tony, who died, um, he gave me my first, like, what What the fuck is it called? I don't even fucking know. But it was a paint set. It was a paint set, and I was four years old. And I got, got in trouble for uh, painting on the walls and shit. I got my ass spanked. But <laughs> I started painting on the fucking walls. But that's my first memory of uh, drawing. Painting on the walls and shit. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool, man. Like I, like I wish I could draw. Like um, that is like one of the artistic things I lack. Mhm. Like I can't, like I can't draw. Mhm. And I can't sing. Mhm. No, no. So it's I like, sing shit. so it's like those, those, like those are the two like areas I'm very much lacking in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as far as art, like man, I like photography. Writing and shit, man. I'm, mm-hmm. And like, and like, as far as like my actual handwriting, it is shit. But, right. <laughs> but you know, like, it, but if I type the shit where folks can read it, you know, like it, mm-hmm. it like, like it should be off the chain. Right. Right. But Besides, uh, but I can't ahead. fucking, but I can't fucking draw. I can't fucking sing. And I, I, I barely can even color inside the lines. You know? Damn. Well, it's. It doesn't happen overnight, I gotta say. Like, yeah. art, like, you gotta just keep doing Like, you suck, keep doing it. Yeah. Keep fucking doing it. It's trial by fucking error. Like, it sucks. Yeah, but, you know, two years down, you get better and shit. It's just improvement. Yeah. It's a steadily improvement and shit. Yeah. 
I also like fighting games. I know many a times yep. going, on, going on Xbox Live and yep. making Xbox Live parties with G and Brian and Deb and shit. It was, oh, yeah, yeah. That's how I met Jose, though. Like, really? on Xbox. Yeah, like, no, me and Jose met on My Way Entertainment. They had a form. Uh-huh. And he always, he always knew of me, but we would always play, like, Resident Evil and shit. So mm-hmm. he always had that in the back of my like, yeah, he's funny. Let's bring him in for the podcast and shit. That's how I met Shaggy, though. I met Shaggy fucking on Xbox Live and shit. Like, we got close on that shit. You know, I just love playing fucking video games. Yeah, man. It's like, like, how you were drawn since you were four? I've been, like, playing video games since I was, like, fucking four, man. Like, <laughs> right. Goddamn regular NES. And, like, I, 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 I suck at this shit. Like, Mario, like, on, on Super Mario World, I would run straight into the first fucking Goomba. God and damn. die every time. But then, like, after a while, like, okay, like, I'm, I jump on this Goomba, go, mm-hmm. I jump over the pipe, and I run it straight into the second Goomba and die again. <laughs> my first, my first, uh, my first game system was a Sega Master System. I don't know uh, if you ever recognize one of those things. Yeah. But it had, like, Space Invaders and shit on it. And, uh, oh, man. I still got that. T- it works today. Damn. It's, it still works today. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Xbox now, where it's like, I it gets the red ring because you look at it funny and shit. <laughs> you say you say your Xbox is... <laughs> Your Xbox get jealous because it watching you bang your girl and it's like, oh, guess what, nigga? <laughs> Where she at the night? You lonely the night, nigga. <laughs> My period on too, nigga. What's up? What's up? What's up? Right. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I remember, like, playing fucking Street Fighter 2. Yeah, that's yeah. the f- yeah. that's the first fighting game I've ever was like whoa. Yeah, me too, dude. And I the first fighting game I ever played. And I played that against Shannon, and he would always whoop my ass, Guile. <laughs> and I'm like, I always loved fighting games. Like that was this that was the genre for me to be like, yo, dedicate some time in that shit. And like, I would always buy fighting games, like whether it was Smash Brothers or Fight for New York and shit. I would always buy five game, fighting games first day and shit. Like, oh my god! Speaking of that, like if if EA had the gumption to listen to his fans mm-hmm. and brought out Vendetta and Fight for New York mm-hmm. or HD remake, would you buy this shit? Yes. Hell yeah. Because oh man, I, I, I I just saw um, uh, I was just at GameStop tonight. Oh. Uh, some fucking HD collection. And I was like, why hadn't they done this like, uh, with like, any of the EA big games yet? Mm. Yeah. Especially Tricky. Like, I love Tricky. Hell yeah, man. I played, I played, like, I played two, I think, and I, like, fell in love with it. Oh my god. Like, Tricky, I would play that shit on my GameCube and just be like, oh my god. And shit, it was, it was great. Nigga, all them colors have a siege and shit, I love it. <laughs> I got a mini stroke off of that, but I'm fine, nigga. Nigga, so, so, as soon as they pull this spoon out my mouth, I'll be okay. <laughs> so, right. As soon as I start foaming out the mouth and open my eyes, I, I'm going to play a game. <laughs> right, it's like, like, games like that, like, I, I did not play Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Mm-hmm. Until it got re-released on Xbox Live. Uh-huh. Because Marvel vs. Capcom 2, like, they would be in GameStop. But, like, the disc would cost, like, $75. Yeah. it was fucking rip. I'd be like, what the fuck? So when it said, like, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was coming to fucking Xbox Live arcade, I was like, yo, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. Day one. <laughs> Day one purchase. And then, like, I've just been... I remember when we would just play Street Fighter 4. For fucking me. hours, man. For hours at a time. It, it was borderline unhealthy. It was really unhealthy. <laughs> but, like, we would just go in the lobby and, like, I I could get basically say, like, I learned ma- my Blanca matchup because of you. Because, like, I can, I can play a Blanca really good now. Uh-huh. 
because Blanca is fucking, he's really hard, because, like, I could never block that damn, his fucking roll attack. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I could never do it. I'm like, nope. So I did not, we just surround myself with Chun-Li's orb thing, and uh, we just wait for you to come at me, like, oh, oh shit. Oh, man, yo, that night, I had to try to time this shit, I was like, oh, my God, like, I know you're from the Thor, so I'm just gonna jump back on these ass. <laughs> and maybe by the time I get there, it'll be done. Nope. Get two hits. You get the last two hits. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, um, man. Yeah, man. It, it, and like, and like going on Xbox Live, like, like playing against like you, Brian, and all y'all, man, like, like, any time Lee face gets body, mm-hmm. and any Buka face gets body, because it's like, like, mm-hmm. I, like, I play these matchups all the time, and, like, the two guys I play against, they play a lot better, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I remember, like, you, you're, you, my channel was a B rate. Yeah. But your, your Blanca was, like, a D or something, but I'm like, <laughs> yeah. no, it's not a D. Like, that, that, that's, that's bullshit. Like, if I could really rate that shit, that shit would be, like, a B plus. Like, that's not a, that's not a D ranked Blanca. Yeah, but no. you think that's, you see them points, they look like a D, but they ain't that. Yeah. Yeah, everybody, uh, everybody who came into the lobby, they're like, oh, yeah, really? oh, this guy picks Blanca. He's, he's picking a D direct Blanca guy. He says, we're going to take him out. This match is going to be free. This match is going to mm-hmm. be free. Then they get like, they get like perfect twice in a row. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, nope, you, you do not. You do not bullshit with Bleak G's block. I like mm-hmm. And I always said, like, I thought your Blanca was really good, like, for what it was. Mm-hmm. Like, it was just, it was just all over the place. And, like, you don't even have a strategy with fucking your Blanca. Like, I don't even know what the fuck I should do. But I'm just going into this match, like, and not make mistakes and shit. I'm just, just take this whooping like a real nigga. And, and, may, and maybe, and maybe I'll pull out a W. Exactly. I remember, uh, one of my finest things was in middle school uh-huh. is when I got a GameCube, and the only two games I would play was Capcom vs. SNK2 and Soul Calibur 2. Oh, gosh. So, I, I, I know you I were play. god, like, you were god-like at those two. Woo! Like, because, man, I got I got a PlayStation 2, and the only game I had on their, on their PlayStation 2 for the longest was NBA Street Volume 1. <laughs> no one could beat me. Wow. Because it was literally school, homework, NBA Street time, fall asleep. <laughs> NBA Street. I said I fall asleep. I'll be, I'll be done like, like, in band practice, like, band practice full, from four to five, and from five to six do homework. Nigga, from six to eleven, no? Shit. <laughs> Get in that ass with streets. Nigga, what? Oh, oh my god, I got, I bought an original Xbox just so I could play Capcom vs. SNK 2. That's the uh, only reason I bought original Xbox. I got that shit now, and I play it constantly. I wish they released it on Xbox Live Arcade, but... Yeah, I'm about to ask, it's not compatible on, uh, on 360? It's not. It, uh, it, that that's is, the, yeah, I, I bought that shit on eBay. Uh, I'm about to pop it into my fucking Xbox 360. Uh-huh. Not cross-compatible at all. Uh, oh! I had to shell out, like, fucking $50 just so I could get an old-ass uh, Xbox. Oh, that's just, yeah, guys, you got... Then you get a... Uh, did you get a uh, jet set ready on too? Mm-hmm. Yup. Yeah, I remember you took a picture of it and uh, had all the games and stuff. Yup. Dude, that soundtrack is so hype. That soundtrack is amazing. I, I, I should actually play one of those. Like, I've, I've never played you never play Jet You never played Jet Set? Mm-hmm. All I ever really played was like, was like competitive games. Like a lot. Like, oh my god. You, you'll play Jet Set and you'll be like, yo, this soundtrack is fucking amazing. Yeah, man, yeah. Like, I, like, I just recently got out of competitive, like, playing competitive online games. Mm-hmm. When they fucked around and released Assassin's Creed 2 on Xbox Live Free for Gold, it was over with. Because, like, I, had, I already had bought, uh, way before then, I bought a Wii U and got Assassin's Creed 3. Yeah. And I, and I liked it, but I wasn't playing it as much. You know, I wasn't playing it as much. I wasn't playing any game as much. But nigga, when they brought out Assassin's Creed 2, and I couldn't stop playing that shit, I was like, yo. I finished that guy, I said, damn, I, w- I want more. <laughs> like, give me more. <laughs> so I went, to, you know, I went to GameStop, fucked around. Yo, we have buy one, get one presale on specifically these games only. 
and they had a sense of screen brotherhood in Revelations on their buy one get one free list. So I went in there, I got it, man. I, I just beat Revelations maybe three days ago, three or four days ago. Mm-hmm. I started. I started back on three now. I'm trying to play. I'm trying to finish three before before part four come out. Uh, see, I was never really big on Assassin's Creed, mm-hmm. but I want. I want to play it. Like I, just, I feel like I'm missing out so you hard. You are, man. Like, like I, I've seen the light. I have seen the light when it comes to that game because it was like, uh, everybody talking about this Assassin's Creed game. How it's so great and blah blah blah. I just think it's a whole bunch of. I, I just think it's overhyped and all that. Then I then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna hit download it because it's free, you know. Mm-hmm. Download mm-hmm. it because it's free on Xbox Live Go, and I started playing it. And like, then uh, Chad, he was playing it too. And I saw Chad. I was like, Nick, you unlocked six achievements already, and you had the game for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and you had you had the game for an hour. You unlocked six achievements. I was like, man, you're fucking insane. So I started playing it. And I was like, like, 10 achievements in the hour. I was like, oh, God, I'm worse than Chad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's addictive, man. It, it, man. Like, I spent so much time putting down Altair's armor and trying to make and trying to make my uh, my villa the most pimped out place yeah. on Earth. I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, I, like, I, I feel like I'm, I'm like, I feel like like some kind of tycoon game, like <laughs> Assassin's Tycoon, like, Yo, you, like nigga, if you want to be an assassin, you gotta have a ball in there as an answer. In it, I feel like I, I feel like I'm missing out with that. Bro. You are, Shit, man. man. Bro, I mean, I don't know if you can still download it now, but no, nah, I, I don't think so now. But shit, I know that they see that game start for like probably fifteen dollars. You can get that. Listen, listen, probably listen. They're probably like eight, seven to eight views. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because uh, I know uh, Brotherhood and Revelations cost fifteen. So okay, it's awesome. Then three, three just went down. I think three is uh like twenty five now. So okay. So yeah, yeah, man. I mean, it's it's easily one of the best uh so far right now. It just they they just capture me like that. Like at first it was Saints Row, but now it's Assassin's Creed. So. Mm-hmm. Like I like I was I was trying to hurry up and finish Saints Row Four just so I can get back to the Assassin's Creed. <laughs> wow. See, I'm with me though. Like I've always been more Grand Theft Auto than Saints Row. Right. And I've only played Saints Row Two. Uh huh. But I feel like I'm missing out with Saints Row Two. Like I'm you I'm are. missing out with this whole genre because it's like Grand Theft Auto is getting fucking boring and shit. Like it's all realistic. Cool. Four ticker was like, uh, yeah, like, four, take, like way too realistic, like man. Take your take your cousin to the fucking mall. This is take bullshit. Your cousin bowling. Then, then, oh, then, this what? is how you know it's too realistic. The last girlfriend you never scored with. Yeah, you yeah, never that's scored right. with the, uh, That's how you know it's too realistic. The first, the first girl you scored with, she turned out well, she was like an FBI person or something. Yeah. Then the second girl, you could like, like she wasn't dropping no draws. <laughs> she wasn't dropping no draws. So I was like, this game is way too realistic. Yeah, and so like, San, well, San Andreas nigga, like yeah. CJ, let's come in for coffee. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, like I, I'm, I'm sad. Like, San Andreas was the last good Grand Theft Auto game. Although, although the fucking Ballad of Gay Tony, hey, Tony Theft- yeah. 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 it sucks when like a uh, DLC is more better than the original game. Yeah. And I felt like both those fucking DLCs for Grand Theft Auto Four were much better than Four. And I'm just yeah. like, yo, Rockstar, what the fuck are you doing? I know, man. But I, I I hope five make up four because it's yes. like it's like it's like four, like when they made Grand Theft Auto four, they forgot that it's supposed to be a video game. Right. It's supposed. To, yeah. Right. Like I hope four. I hope five just like blows four out the water. It needs to. Because I had like, a bad. I had a bad. Taste in my mouth the, 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 I had a bad. Taste the lack of activities for one thing for four, like you know in in three. Not three, uh, San Andreas. 
Like you, you, you right had races and shit. You can do races, uh, uh, the muscle truck shit, all that, like the flying shit. You can do all that, but like four note. We, we're just gonna let you play this uh, linear story. Uh, right. And they, they, that's what they did. Like a story and graphics. That, yeah. That's the biggest draw to Grand Theft Auto Four. But what about gameplay and you know you want to play it all? It's not, yeah, it's not a game you would replay. You play it once, that's, that's all you need. Yeah, man, cause my, my god brother, he had it on, uh, he had it on PlayStation 3 some years ago, and I played it and beat it, and, uh, I just rebought it for my 360, just cause, uh, Gay Tony and Lost in the Damn came with, mm-hmm. for, for, like, cheap. And it's mm-hmm. like, I, I, like, I haven't even popped four in yet. I, like, I think <laughs> I popped the Lost in the Damn then first. Right. And it was like the first few missions. I'm like, I'm feeling a lot better about this. <laughs> right. Dude, I want to play San Andreas. But I want to play I want to play Grand Theft Auto 5 and more Saints Row. Because 4 was just, I, I wasn't feeling it. Yeah. I, was not feeling, I wasn't feeling 4. 4 was ass. Ugh, no. I, I didn't like it. I didn't, it sucked when, like, the DLC, the DLC was much better than the original game. Like, I've never yeah. seen that. I've never yeah. seen that ever. It, That's crazy. That's crazy. Saints Row Three, you, you you definitely, I think you'll have a lot of fun with that since it's yeah. like in Saints Row Three if you get there. And Four is like basically just like Three, but like more amped up. So Four, uh-huh. Four, you get superpowers. Yeah, that's oh, the, that's the like main reason. Kinda that's the main like reason Infamous. I want it. Kind of like Infamous one that I fucking PS. The PS3 franchise and shit. You know when you get the fucking yeah, powers and shit. Yeah, something like that. Then it's like, oh my gosh, man! It's like so chock full of like references. Mm-hmm. Like, like man, Brian just finished it not like last week or so. We had we had collective fangasms like every. 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yo, like, uh, you, you heard Corey talking about it, like, Roddy Piper's on there, man. <laughs> like, like, mm-hmm. like, Roddy Piper, they're like, and he's fighting Keith David. And I just was like, yo, this is from Day Lil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's this from Day Lil. Like, the whole scene, and it's like, and it's like, they actually got Roddy Piper to do the voice acting and stuff. And it, man, it, it it's just an awesome game. Then I ain't gonna spoil the end, but the end was just, oh, it was, oh, it was great. It's, it's like, it's so ridiculous until, until like, that's how you know it's done right. That's amazing. And it's much, like, Saints Row is getting much better than Grand Theft Auto now. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah, man, it, like, like, I, like, I played two. I played Saints Row two, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so much better than Grand Theft Auto. Like, and I, I mm-hmm. bought two. I bought two on the whim. Cause it was like, it, it was like, like fifteen dollars. I was like, I might as well give it a try. Then I convinced Brian to buy it, and that was it. Man, okay. Saints, Saints Row three came out. We both got that, and four. Oh man, it, it, it's beautiful. Man. Mm-hmm. It is beautiful. That's dope. I want. I want to. I want to play some sand. I want to play some Saints Row. Yeah, man. But uh, are there any games that are coming out that you're looking forward to, like in the future that you're looking forward to getting? Um, besides Grand Theft Auto Five. Hmm. Not, not really. And unless you can, you know what I want to play? I want to play Dive Kick. Have you heard about <laughs> Dive Kick? Man, I've seen, play- I, I've seen that. I saw Dive Kick at Evo. Come on. <laughs> right, like I, like I was like, uh, it looks kind of stupid. It actually yeah. looks kind of hype now, though. Like, yeah, I, I, yeah, it's like round one, Dive Kick. Dive Kick, and if you get like four in a row, it'll say like fraudulent. fraudulent. Yeah, fraudulent. Fraudulent. <laughs> fraudulent. They're like wee wee. That's so oh, they They're, they're so like they, like the characters, man. Like, um, uh, I think Marn. You got Marn. Marn, yeah. Seth it's, Killian is broken. Yeah, and is Seth Killian the boss on there or something? Yeah, yeah, he's a yeah. boss. 
that nigga do like the zero from a NBC three. He do like the zero lightning loops. <laughs> so good. Like I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get it, but it's not on Xbox. It's only on PS three and Windows. Yep. Let me guess. You have a Mac? No. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, I have, I have Windows. But I don't know. I don't think my computer, my crappy ass computer will handle yeah. it. Oh. It's, like, it's hard for me to play PC games on my own too. too. Yup. Oh. Yup. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? No. <laughs> like I remember when I downloaded Project sixty four. Uh-huh. You ever heard that? You, yeah, the emulator, right? The emulator for Nintendo sixty four. Yeah. My whole computer was like, what the fuck is <laughs> this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Just shut down on me. Like, I lost so much. No, I never had no problem like that, but it's like download like the bigger games. Like, like the only one I really had success with was like me and the nigga Al Bundy. Shout out to Bundy. Uh, we, was, we used to play uh, San Andreas uh, multiplayer. Mm-hmm. And that, that was like the only game that would work. But the rest of them were just... Man, like, my, man my old computer, it was shit. Like, I, I used to play World of Warcraft and I used to play like I had on the lo- the absolute lowest settings now. I had World of Warcraft on the absolute lowest settings. I was still only getting like ten or fifteen frames per second. Mm-hmm. And like San Andreas, I had to put it on the absolute like crappiest. Like it looked like it looked like a PlayStation One game. Damn. <laughs> like San Andreas looked like PlayStation One on my on my old computer. The dedication. Yeah, that's dedication. And, and I and I finished the game. I couldn't finish it on PlayStation Two, but I finished it on computer. Wow. On my crap ass computer. So dedication. Uh-huh. That's it's, dedication, man. Look at this. I just recently finished it for the first time when I bought it off the uh, Xbox. So that was my first time ever beating the whole uh, San Andreas like a couple months ago. Yeah, then, I, then I did that shit with like no cheats. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I was I was I was only really using like just the guns and yeah. You know, other than that, I wasn't really using like a lot of different sheets. I use like oh man, that shit was horrible. Especially the part where well they uh they lock up sweet. He got oh to, yeah, you got to yeah yeah kill a uh, rider. I think that's rider. Yeah, you kill rider. No, no, that no. When that- Caesar Caesar show you the uh. Caesar show you that uh smoke uh, powder. Yeah, the, yeah, the car. Yeah. The green, yeah, the green saber, yeah. <laughs> man, <laughs> man, that shit felt like real life. Yo, it was like <laughs> Yeah. That shit felt like real life. I was like, these niggas killed my mama, man. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I'm like these man, I was down with these niggas from day one and they killed my nigga, they killed my mama and they set my brother up. Nigga. <laughs> Oh, oh my that's gosh, that's fucked up. And I already go. I was like, like I was ready to kill a nigga for real. I was like, yo, <laughs> I was like, yo, <laughs> these niggas killed my mama, man. They killed my mama, nigga. <laughs> man, this, this is oh man, that was like, he got his. Uh, you know what other game I'm. I'm uh, fucking Arkham Origins. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All, the thing, all the thing about that is, it's like coming out of the round the same time it's Assassin's Creed 4. And if I get Origins, if I get, like, any game that has a collector's edition to it, I'm getting a collector's edition. <laughs> I can't I can't afford that. I can't afford that. No, no, that's right. And, like, and, and if I do it, like, if I get that, man, I'm going to have to go back and play Arkham City, finish Arkham City, uh, find Arkham City 2 and finish, uh, not Arkham City, Arkham Asylum 1 and 2, then finish Arkham City. You you didn't finish Arkham City yet? No, I, I quit, like, midway. Wow, man, you got to, come on, yeah, man, you, you got to back on the horse. Yeah, you got to play that shit, because it's going to hook you back. I, I think that I can't even remember the last thing I did. I, I think I remember meeting Bane. And that was all. <laughs> I mm-hmm. Meeting Bane, yo. I, I think that this one of the last things I did, but. God damn, it comes out October the 25th? Yeah, five days for my birthday. Fuck. Then, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Assassin's Creed 4 comes out like five days before, maybe? Let me see, GameStop.com. 
Because sure. I, I don't want to give anyone listening to us uh, false information. Mm. Let's see, assassins. I, 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 like, I don't believe how big of a mark I turned out for that game. And, like, mm-hmm. I, I, I want to get it on the Wii U so bad, but it does Like, that's the only thing that's done, because there's no collector's edition for the Wii U. But we come out four days out, they come out on the 29th. Yep. What? So the Joker is in Arkham Origins? What the fuck? Yep, I think so. Yeah, but he's not voiced by Mark Hamill, though. Mm hmm. Oh, for real? Yep. Yeah. Hey, I didn't know that. Yeah, man. The fuck? The fuck? I'm I hope they at least got, like, a Joker from, like, a... That's played the Joker before, and now they're, like, a person that's just, like, brand new to you. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that suck, though? Like, who is this new <laughs> nigga? I don't know this new nigga. It'll be Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Affleck like forcing a joke. What the fuck? You know, what I mean? you're an Arkham now. <laughs> what? What yeah, are you yeah. doing, Batman? Yo, I swear, man, my like my aunt. She came down to visit one time. She was from Boston. She lives in Boston and stuff. She came to visit one time, and like, and her accent, like I've never heard a Boston per- a Bostonian talk before. And mm-hmm. she sounds like she's excited about everything when she talks. She's mm-hmm. <laughs> like, come on, get in the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they really sound like that. They really, really sound like, come on, get in the car. <laughs> get in the car. Get in the car. And, I, and, and she has to stress out, get in the car. And like, oh my gosh. So we had to pick up. We we had to pick them up from the airport in uh in Memphis, which is like a two hour drive. And um uh we we were coming back down the highway and we we uh we were coming up on church. Hey, let's stop at that churches. I haven't had churches since I was a little girl. And I was like, oh yeah. I was a little girl. Since I was a little girl. <laughs> was a little girl. <laughs> we were gonna have churches in Boston. <laughs> wow! Wow! That was exactly like that. Oh my god! Like, I don't uh, know if I could. I don't know if I could handle that shit. This is <laughs> all in pronounced syllables and shit. What the and, fuck? And, and the last one's got to be stretched out. Stretched out like fuck too. <laughs> like what the fuck is going on? Man, clam like, chowder. <laughs> clam chowder. New England Patriots, huh? <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't know your mom was from fucking Boston. I I never knew that. I thought you were just, you know, you all were just from Mississippi and stuff. Oh, no, she she uh, moved out here like, oh, uh, my mom, she was born in Boston. Uh, She got adopted by a lady in Chicago. So she lived, like, she was raised there for a good portion of her life. Mm-hmm. She was about, she was about 15 and her adopted mom's mom readopted her down here, uh, where we live now, uh, in her teenage years. And she grew up here and stuff. Then she she moved back up there for a little bit. Uh, moved back to uh, uh Chicago and stuff. And that's that's why like my mom. She doesn't really have an an, an accent per se. It's all said with a, a country accent, like I do. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but, right. But, and, uh, she moved back down here and stuff, man. Man, my aunt. Oh, my gosh. Then I have one from, I have another aunt from, on my dad's side from, uh, from Michigan. Is it Michigan or Minnesota? I can't remember. But, man, she, like, like, I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, hers is, like, just a slight bit less crappier than my aunt from Boston's. <laughs> She got like she got like the high pitched scream. What are you doing over here? <laughs> oh my gosh! Like no, wow. like 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 I like I had to like my dad was trying to get me to talk to her on the phone, mm-hmm. and I just had to hand him the phone back and then walk out the house laughing. I just walked out the house laughing. That was oh my gosh. That's crazy. It's crazy. 
Oh my gosh. So uh, I just I just thought of another question. Uh, do 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 you read a lot for reading? Hell no. You know what? Uh I in my younger days. Like when I was in middle school, mm-hmm. I would go to the library and uh-huh. I would pick up manga. Oh, but other than that, I, I don't, I, I don't read at all. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I read, I read the newspaper. <laughs> oh, you, 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 you're, you're a lot better than me. <laughs> I read the newspaper. I read the newspaper. But that's only when I'm taking a shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I need, like, I can't, I don't know what it is, but when I need to take a shit, I can't take a shit unless I got the fucking newspaper. I don't know what, I don't know where this came from. I don't know where this came from. Like, it's weird. It's but called, I need to do it. That's called the duck hood, my nigga. <laughs> I can't take a shit unless I got the fucking newspaper to go. I got the newspaper, let me grab my phone, and let me go to BuzzFeed or something. I need to read something while I'm fucking taking a shit. It's weird. It's fucking weird, man. I don't know. Yeah, you, you're lucky, but when I, you're lucky you, you, know, uh, you don't have a girlfriend that has a scat fetish. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be sitting up in the dark. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> this isn't working for me. What's wrong? It's not you, it's me. <laughs> I need to read something right now before I take this massive pump on you. <laughs> oh, I don't got, I don't got that. I'm... So, so that's stuff making my brain. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, I'm going to do Is he coming no, out? Oh, okay. No, no, oh, okay, I'm okay. Here. I, when I was in middle, when I was in middle school, I would read a lot of manga. I would read Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z manga, mm-hmm. Ranma One Half manga, how to draw anime manga, like tutorials. That's how I learned how to draw, basically through middle school and shit, like how to draw tutorials and shit. But other than that, I don't read at all. I don't read. Nah. Yes, yeah, that's, that's like the the common uh. What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, well, basically everybody saying that they don't read. Everybody was, we've interviewed so far. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait until wait until we interview Jay. <laughs> <laughs> wait until yeah. we interview Jay. And wait, it, you, that like I saw he posted the the uh the Instagram video. He's like, I had a little scratch time. Four hundred pages done. And I'm like, nigga, you work like two jobs for. 20 hours a day, you call it one hour spare time, you can finish like a whole book. <laughs> yeah. That's right. what I'm fucking in. He can, he can <laughs> right. I, I, I don't read at all like that. Like, I mean, cops to people who have free time to want to read and shit. Like, my mom, mm-hmm. she can she can go through a book in like a day. Like, her reading level is so retarded. My reading level is of a fucking fifth grader. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm stuck on chapter two. Like, I can't read. Like, I'm retarded when it comes to reading. Like, I'll be stuck on a fucking book for like a month. I'm, but my mom's reading level is crazy. She will go through a book in like two days. Wow. How do you go through a book in two days? Like, the, the only book that I've done that with is of Mice and Men. Like, I, like, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Let's go. Let's like, go, Harry Potter. Like I literally, like we got assigned that book for class. I was like, oh gosh, here's another book. Here's another mm-hmm. honors English class. I'm gonna fail because I hate reading. But then it's like I started reading this book of my and I was like, yo, and it's not, and it's not that long. That's what really. I was like, yo, this book ain't that long. Like, like one chapter is like twenty pages, and it was like, mm-hmm. it was like maybe, maybe. Eight chapters, I was like, yo, I can get down with this. I can get right. down with this. Right. Like, I, I can't read at all. Like, I'm not like, oh, yeah, I just fucked that book up, bitch. I'm like, nope. Like, I, <laughs> in I, your I, face, uh, bitch. <laughs> in your face, bitch. Like, I, when I, in high school, like, I would go to websites to get the fucking, uh, um, oh, what the uh, fuck is it called? Yeah. Oh, uh, we went with the, uh, uh, we went to SparkNotes. SparkNotes.com. <laughs> Woo! 
That was my best friend. Like, I would not read shit. I gotta read how many chapters? Fuck that shit. I'm going to fuck it. Yo, then, then, then my, uh, my junior honors English teacher, she was such a douchebag. Cause uh, I know y'all are getting these notes from the internet somewhere. <laughs> so she'll ask us, like, some obscure shit. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh man, we had to read uh, this long as foreign book, uh, Jane Eyre. We had to read that, and she's like, "It's like, what color? <laughs> what color was Jane Eyre's bicuspid? Like, I was like, it's like, I don't know, off white? No, it was pearl white. <laughs> Yo, she was what such a stuff? she was such a d bag. She was such a d bag." Wow. Nigga, that book report, though. I knew that book report. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like, I don't know any of our, like, our generation is so, like, we got fucking smartphones and shit on deck. Mm. Who the fuck would want to read a book like that? Like, I don't see, like, I want to get into comics, but even then I don't want to fucking commit to that shit. Like, I don't want to fully commit to comics, <laughs> buying that shit every Tuesday and shit. Get the fuck out of here. And it's like, I read, like, now I read if I'm proofreading over my own work. This only time I read is like, okay, uh, spell check. Yeah. You know what, maybe right. I could, maybe I could write that sentence a little better, and then I, you know, well, man, man, I was like, oh, fuck it, you know. Right. It's like, I, I skim through it, and if something catch my attention, I'm like, right. okay. All right, uh, let's move on. Uh, blah 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 blah. Titties. Okay. Uh, <laughs> see, see, Game <laughs> of Thrones is the only thing that makes me want to read. <laughs> I really want to read that shit. But you can't. But I, that's that's like seven hundred pages, nigga. Fuck that shit. Nigga. <laughs> nope. And it's like, and this one like half a season. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, that ain't even a full episode. Seven chapters ain't even a full episode, man. Mm-mm. I know that. And at the end of the first book, it's like, and that's how Ned Stark was born. It's like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> like, like the whole book, like the whole book would be like, uh, when his mom was delivering him, right. <laughs> and her womb, and her womb was exposed. Like what the fuck? Nigga? And it's <laughs> Rob <laughs> with, with embryonic fluid, <laughs> and this <laughs> and a stalk was born. And a sir, and a stalk was born. And a winter fell. Like what the fuck? Like, you really, so really dragging us on? You really dragging us on, George R. It's like Dragon Ball Z of Booker <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Game of Thrones. They look at his mom on the top of the rest of the That's hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. Then, then the plot twist the doctors will purr. Right. He'll just be down on his finger. Do you feel this? Okay, but how about this? Shit. I, I, I should really write the Hollywood, man. Like you really should. I really should. And like, I, like I was saying to guys on the after hours the other night that um, I'm right. I'm writing a story. I might, I might make it into a whole novel. I don't know because mm-hmm. how far I want to go with it. Mm-hmm. And I want to make it into a movie. Okay. I sincerely want to make it into a movie. Now, like I already got my cast. I already have my cast. Like, uh, Jay's gonna be the main guy. Really? Really, Jay's okay. gonna be the main guy. And Jose is gonna play Jesus. Wow. Right. I'm at a loss for words. And, and, and Jay, Jay said that you should play Satan in the, in the, in the story. Done. It's done. I would, I would totally play Satan. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I was like, because at first he said Shaggy. And I was like, no, I want Shaggy to play the bad guy. He was like, 
wait, is it Satan the bad guy? I said, no. He was like, oh, shit, okay. It's interesting. Plot twist. <laughs> plot twist. <laughs> He's like, plot, plot twist. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, Jose is Jesus. Like, you is Satan. Like, y'all constantly, like, fucking with him. Like, it, like it, during the entire movie, like, oh, man, like, when I finished writing this shit, like, Jay, Jay who is a complete total nerd, he was like, I don't know to read that when you finish it. <laughs> I don't know to read it when you finish it. Shit, I want to read that shit when you finish it. I don't want to read shit, but I'd read that shit. He was like, I want to get, like, I want to get into shit, like, like, heaven and shit, like, angels and demons. But it's got, like, but if it has come to it, like, I definitely want to, like, read it. I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Shit. Damn. I'm, I'm steady stalling trying to think of more questions, but I can't. It's okay. But, <laughs> it's uh, okay. It's alright. It's all right. What, what, what you got, Chad? What you got? Um... I guess uh, talk about your musical preferences and what you like to listen to in your spare time and whatnot. See, a lot of my friends like rap. Yeah. And I can't stand that shit. I really can't stand rap now. Like, I can't stand the. I turn on the radio and Little Wayne's on it. I, I don't yeah. like that. Sh- I don't like that shit. Like I'm like no. Like I lean toward towards rock. Mhm. Like I'm more toward nineties grunge with the Seattle scene and shit with like Soundgarden and that yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Soundgarden those my niggas right there that's my that's my favorite genre like grunge with Nirvana and Pearl Jam that's my fucking that's my preference like and I listen to like Jimi Hendrix and lately I've been getting some Janis Joplin like oh, I've been shit. I've been totally like like I, I love rock. I can do like nineties rap, but that's it. But other than that, it's just completely fucking rock for me. Like I love rock. I love rock all of it and shit. Like the Beatles, like you wouldn't even expect like a nigga to me to like Beatles, but I fucking love the Beatles. Like I listen to full Beatle albums and shit. I love I love rock, dude. I can't stand new rap. Like I like Drake and shit. Yeah. What the fuck is this shit? Like it don't sound like shit. He has good, it has good beats, but other uh, than that, he don't be talking about shit. shit. You know I like the rap, but I really like the sing. Uh, really. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, like this nigga don't know what he want to be a rapper or sing. It's like he doing both on the same thing. Started from the bottom, now we're here. It's like what? <laughs> like, like nigga, nigga, you were on a hit, like on a semi hit. TV show. Right! You and fucking Degrassi and shit. That you, 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 like, know. like, like, you lived in the suburbs with an in-ground pool, mind you. What Boy, bottom, man. what bottom is this? Nigga, he's what? talking about, he's talking about white folks' bottom. He gotta be, nigga. <laughs> I didn't have four cars in my garage. That's the bottom. Yeah. Like, get the, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Like, my mom, like, rap, my mom rap, got a 50-inch TV. That's <laughs> <laughs> Like rap is so, ugh, it's it's terrible nowadays, and it's it's like I I just revert to old rock. Like I'll listen to fucking old Seattle rock and shit, and Jimi Hendrix and Electric Ladyland and shit. But other than that, I'm not fucking with rock in general. But it's just mostly rock to me. I love I love I love rock. It's amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like. I, like, man, I downloaded, like, every Metallica album ever. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was not, like, listening to this shit. I was like, yo, I can relate to this shit way more. Than right, I, like, right. You fucking Injustice for All and shit? Yeah, yeah, nigga, Carp, carp Deal? Come on. Like, yo, that, shit, that shit empowers me, man. They're like, I did, like, oh, my God, I fucking, yeah. I fucking listened to Leonard Skinner saying Simple Man. Mm-hmm. Holy that's shit. shit. That's that shit, though, right? Yo, that's that I, shit. Like, and I was like, yo, my mama, you, my mama used to tell me all this shit for me. It's like, don't want to do this shit. I'm like, yo, Leonard Skinner is talking to me right now. Right. Like, 
Southern rock is amazing because they're like completely down to earth and like they got it simple. That's just fucking. They hate you with this. This is, is what they're about. Bird? Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Like I remember in fucking high school, senior year, I would just play Guitar Hero, and that's how my catalog of rock got like introduced to me. Like every fucking song is amazing, and then they play. I play Guitar Hero too. Freebird was the last damn song. Uh, never beat it. I could never beat Freebird. <laughs> that damn retarded ass solo at the end. Fuck, I fell. I fucking fell. <laughs> I get like 75% in and I'm like, God damn it, Leonard Skin, and I fell. I could never beat that. I didn't have a fucking oh, man. oh, man. That, like, all that remind me of what you just said. Like, it remind me of the longest yard. Uh, when they, like, when the guards were in the locker room and Stone Cold came in doing the air guitar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's like my man plays guitar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not a white man plays guitar. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit. God damn. Looking at rock and roll, man, that was amazing. I love it too. Like, I've been, like, on, like, Red Hot Chili Peppers of lately. Every of the every album is fucking amazing. It's like God damn. Oh man, uh, I never heard like the only song I heard by them was Californication. Oh my god, you should go go to YouTube or whatever music site you have. Go just listen to fucking. They got Soul to Squeeze, Fortune Faded. It, oh my, god. like their whole shit is amazing, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even, yeah, man, like, it's like, it's like every day, like, I find some, somebody new, like, oh my, like, dude, I, I got him to shine down. Mm-hmm. And, like, I was like, yo, they did, like, an acoustic simple man. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they, they did, they did, a uh, simple man, and the song at the end of, uh, Expendables 1, uh, mm-hmm. Diamond Eyes. Mm-hmm. That was my shit. That's how I found out about them. Like, I had, uh, uh, this app on my phone, Shazam, and when the credits rolling out, I was like, yo, I like this shit. I was like, shine down, diamond eyes, okay. I just want to look up some more of this shit. I was like, yo, they, they legit, they legit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right. Yeah, and it was, oh, so, somebody else. Damn, um, look, I, I cannot think of them right now. But they are fucking amazing, whoever they are. Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 real theory. I've never heard of them. They do. Oh, they, 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 give me a hell. Give me a yeah. Them niggas. That's who you talking uh, about. I think they do that, but I know they do. Uh, they do Randy Orton's thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That is a nigga. Yep. Yeah. Okay. They, they do Randy Orton's thing. So, I have voices in my head. They did that shit. Uh... Then they did another, they got another song girl called Light It Up. Light, yeah, okay. We're about to light it up. Yeah. They, they got like a whole. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. I know who you're talking about now. Okay. Yeah, nigga, don't get me started on Motley Crue and Kiss. Don't. Yeah, like, I I actually <laughs> like hair bands. Like, hair bands are yeah. fucking, hair bands are fucking dope. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, uh, Home Sweet Home? God damn it. Oh, <laughs> Get the mm. fuck out of here. Nigga, I, when, when I walk home from work, I listen to this shit on repeat. <laughs> I'm like, I'm old, G, I G, I thought you had a, I thought you had a car, G. I thought you would always drive from work. Oh, man. I, 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 like, I don't have, like, anytime I, I was about to get a car, so I'm having, like, one guy, he was like, yeah, uh, like, I don't want the car anymore just because of uh, my water pump busting on it. Uh, I, I mean, I'm about to take it to the junkyard and sell it for scrap. I was like, well, I'll give you two hundred and something dollars for the car. He's like, okay, well, let me get back with you on that. This nigga sold the car to somebody else just because he found out somebody, like, somebody so interesting. I was like, you fucking <laughs> dick. Mm, and, like, like a, tw- a, tw- a $20 water pump. I was like, I can't afford all this shit. I had this bitch running a day. Nigga. God damn okay. Nigga, no, nigga, long as the uh, autos are on ain't closed, nigga, I'm gonna go buy that shit and <laughs> Like, yo, then this nigga gonna sell it to somebody else. 
I saw somebody riding their car with a car. Hey, get that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, like, I'm supposed some, to ride this shit. Throw some chicken breading at that motherfucker. Like, <laughs> bitch. Throw it on that windshield so they can't see. That nigga's crazy. <laughs> then I'll probably go to jail and we'll be doing it. Manslaughter. <laughs> Manslaughter. <laughs> oh, my God. Man, I was about to get a charger. Oh, to, shit. I was about to get a 2011 charger. Oh, my gosh. Nigga from Texas, from Fort Worth, <laughs> a nigga. It's, a, it's always the niggas who always who always bring niggas down. That's fucked up. Like the like the white dudes went to work with them. They nigga want to play ball. And as big as I, nigga, I'm three hundred fifty fucking pounds. What the fuck I look like driving around in a little ass fucking Toyota Corolla? What the fuck? <laughs> nigga, nigga, I. Nigga, my elbows touching the ceiling trying to drop. I was like, man, I'm going to need something more comfortable. He was like, well, man, look, look, uh, you ain't got no down payment and shit. Uh, I can give you this car right now for 300 a month. I was like, I can pay more than 300 a month. I was like, nigga, I can pay 600 a month. White boy said, let's go. Come on, said, let's go. Said, I got a Chrysler 300 out here, and I got a Dodge Charger. So I'm going to let you test drive them both. And he gave me the keys. I was like, okay. But here come the nigga. Look, man, I'm going to need that down payment. I'm going to need a trade in. I was like, nigga, I'm coming to you because I ain't got a car. What the hell? I'm going to trade something in. Oh, damn. Then they were talking about a $2,000 down payment. I'm like, nigga, if I have a $2,000 yesterday, <laughs> if I had $2,000 yesterday, what makes you think I got it today? Right. Like, where the fuck do you get off? Like, what the fuck? It was like, well, man, I'm sorry I can't do nothing for you. I was like, well, fuck you then. Thanks for wasting my time. You better go to fucking, you better go to fucking Craigslist and get some fucking, see if whoever's fucking buying a fucking, whoever's selling a fucking vehicle. Go to fucking Craigslist. I, I, Craig- I, I wonder if I can do like that one guy, he trained with a cell phone for, what, a, a Porsche or some shit? Oh, Damn. A Porsche? That was like the biggest store on Craigslist. That was the first time I ever heard of it. Like, it was an old-ass cell phone. He traded this shit up for, like, some kind of expensive-ass sports car. Like, it went from a cell phone. He traded the cell phone to somebody. Then traded whatever they gave him for some of us, and it, he went on up. I was like, damn. Like, nigga, I, I, I sell a stack of blank CDs. It's <laughs> <laughs> <for> this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to ask shit that we didn't ask everybody else. Uh, yeah. What's the weather like in Columbus? It's <laughs> fucking bipolar. Like uh, I'm not bullshit. Like it'll be it'll be ninety degrees, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Turn around. Thirty minutes later, it'll rain for like Damn. four hours. Then Damn. it'll get cold. Then it'll like it does like. Th- all four fucking seasons in like a day. <laughs> like I swear to God, it snowed one time, and it was like a foot of snow. It was like it was like an inch of snow. Then it got hot, and the snow melted, and it was like that slushy shit. Uh, then it started uh, raining. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on in Columbus, yo? <laughs> and that's every day. That's every damn day. <laughs> it's retarded. So, I mean, you gotta care of umbrella. Yeah, you got you like what? Nigga, I once got some groceries and my bread got soggy. Like what the <laughs> fuck? Nigga, I learned my lesson. The fucking weather is retarded over here. Like I don't know if you guys shit fluctuates crazy, but our my our weather over here just goes from like one and ten instantly. Man, like I, like. We, like, in Cleveland, it has these days, like, like, uh, one day it was, like, 65 degrees, and we was, like, and it was coming up, like, around this time, it was, like, yeah, fall from the star. Nope. Next day, 101. What the fuck, man? I was, like, oh, my God. And then I had to walk to work that day. I was, like, oh, hell, no. 
Hey, when Damn. I get in here, man, they not nobody say shit to me. Mm-hmm. Don't be making no demands. Mm-hmm. I don't want. I don't want to hear mm-hmm. shit. Gee, we need some chicken. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he just put his face in the deep fryer and shit. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> How you like it, bitch? How you like it? <laughs> Drowning your ass. That's the fuck up way to go. You drown, you're drowning and getting your face burnt out. <laughs> we have to integrate shortly. That's an MK fatality right there. God what? damn. Nigga, that's a, that's a execution from the Punisher or some shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so how you like it, bitch? Mm-hmm. Frank, Frank Castle in this motherfucker. He's <laughs> okay. Right. So, um, uh, guess what? The end of shit. This been damn a fucking hour long again. Fuck. That's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. Fuck. It didn't even feel like. Once you get to start talking, man, it just yeah, yeah. It just flows, man. Right. And that's what our show is based on. That's <laughs> what your show is fucking based. If they ever make it big, I want at least like five percent off this shit. Give me five percent, and I'm cool. I'm nigga, cool. we give you two and a half. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take it. I'll and nigga, it. you nigga, you gonna be in a movie? What the, what the hell else do you want? I I ain't even gonna be in the movie. They uh, producer, director, writer, or whatever. You know, I'm gonna be behind the camera, nigga. You gonna be in the movie? You think you gonna be Satan? Swag. Let's do it. <laughs> you, you gonna be Satan, nigga? Swag. You, nigga, you might win an award for that shit. Nigga, I'm looking at an Oscar, nigga. <laughs> Looking at an Oscar Grammy, nigga. You can't even get a Grammy from me. <laughs> you can't get a Grammy from me. Nigga got a Grammy <laughs> well, uh, for singing a song again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Nigga got a Grammy for singing Journey. In Journey? In the movie. I'm a best of prison of cover in a movie. Shane says that. I'm slapping my mama, nigga. I'm slapping my mama. I'm slapping she, she my mama, nigga. She whooped my ass. <laughs> Motherfucker, you, you want a motherfucking granite shoe? Yo, no, no, goddamn man. I'm sorry. That shit, oh, that shit, that shit, that shit that be all over Twitter and TV so quick. Oh, my God. Swag. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> man. How, how how can people find you? If, if, if uh, we're so compelled to find you on the social media. Well, I am on Twitter at Twitter Channel Fat. Yeah, and I'm on Facebook too. So just type in Shane Sims and I'm up there. So yeah, you know where the fuck to find me. Go to Villas Never Sleep. That's my group. You can post <laughs> stupid shit if you want to. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck on that group. You can post whatever the fuck you want. As long as it's not gay porn. Yeah. As long as it's not gay porn. <laughs> as long as it's not gay male porn. Yeah. But other than that, completely free. Join our group. Listen to our podcast. Yeah. All right. That's and, uh, it. And uh, you can see Shane Sims live in Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell him where I live, nigga. Don't seven, tell him where I live. Seven days a week. <laughs> Don't tell where I live, nigga. I'm dead now. Tickets are still on sale at a ticket box. <laughs> and then I was like, what is he going to do? That nigga just going to walk around and when I do shit. I just get to watch him. <laughs> you just get to watch him. Just get to watch him. Like, what the fuck is he doing? Oh shit, Shane taking the shit, goddamn! This nigga taking the shit. Say, yo, oh, this nigga watch him pull. This nigga mess him. This nigga left it like me. Oh shit, nigga, look at that technique. <laughs> you stupid. That nigga, stupid. that nigga do the twist and toss, nigga. Oh shit, damn. <laughs> Because I, I was absolutely bored shitless tonight. I had no nothing problem. to do. No uh, problem, man. And, uh, 
Damn, what, Chad, what the fuck do we tell folks to do after this shit? Uh, I forgot. Oh, he, uh, Twitter, hashtag see the people or hashtag. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, yeah, see yeah. the people and uh, assholes, LEA, and. Uh, hashtag TGIAH. Yeah, there we go. Or, or thank God I'm an asshole. Either one. Oh. I mean, I mean, now if you want to, nigga, I mean, ain't, ain't no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm, I'm looking up the Steve Austin podcast. I'm having David Lee Roth on this shit. I don't know. I gotta oh, listen shit. to this shit. I gotta listen to this right. shit. Um, like. yeah. Well, guys, uh, uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for coming, Shane. Hopefully we can get Jose ass, cause that nigga told, still told he ain't work and shit. Yeah. Or he, or he, or he getting Mexican drunk. So, <laughs> well, I'll just uh, get these fucking Coronas. It'll, it'll be, like, it'll be so funny. It'll be funny as hell, like, Jose speaks no Spanish from what I understand. No. But no, it'll no. be so funny if when that nigga get drunk, that nigga is fluent. <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> it would be, be fucking crazy. That that would be the funniest shit ever. Yeah. So uh, thank thank you, people. Uh, everybody. Uh, follow Shane Sims. Not in real life. Uh, don't <laughs> don't 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 go watch. Don't go to Columbus and watch him take a shit or or, or beat off. Um. <laughs> uh. Thank you and good night. And let's get some more people seated. We're the torrent. Peace.